So we got another mom memory today, right? I'm so grateful that I filmed these, although like sometimes it's really hard to watch. I'm so glad that I have them. Even if they make me like emotional, I'm, I'm so glad that, that I did it. So trigger warning, if you're sensitive to topics like this, um, because I don't intend on hurting anybody, it's just been kind of therapeutic. And I think that with my birthday coming up, it, it it's my first birthday without a right so enjoy i guess another day another hospital so she finished her last rounds of radiation uh tuesday they did some imaging today and neither the swelling or the tumors have uh gone down or changed in any way shape or form as a matter of fact the ones in her lungs have grown uh, they have her on a telemetry unit um, because her heart rate was 188 and she was an AFib which they did manage to convert but now she's confused and I mean confused uh, you know a lot of times she has these periods of like in and out of, of lucidity um, and and I had this conversation with her last week about her driving right because she's telling me I'm alert and oriented and I'm like no mom you're not alert and oriented um, and I had to remind her that when she had patients that were not alert and oriented but they thought they were you know um, she was supposed to be able to drive three days after her last radiation uh, session, which is clearly not going to happen now. I can see a difference in her as far as, uh, you know, last night when, when I was leaving the hospital. You know, she's like, it's always been us. And it was for a really long time. It was just me and my mom and my dad his disease process was just so different and maybe it was because I didn't see it firsthand and and this I'm just watching it ravage her entire being cancer is unforgiving it is unforgiving and when I tell you that my mother is the type of person that would quite literally give you the shirt off her back if it was her last shirt I mean it and you would think that like karma would give her a break, right? And it's not. Um, I had a conversation with her the day before yesterday, um, the last day of her treatment. My little brother came with us. And, uh, you know, I, I said that if I was ever diagnosed with cancer, I would never, I, would, I wouldn't fight. Keep me comfortable and let me live my life because I'm not living like that. I'm not gonna be sick. Uh, well, let me rephrase. If it's uh, definite, right, that it's something that I'm not gonna survive, just keep me comfortable and let me be. And I know that she fights for us, right? I don't, nobody wants to do this, right? And, and my brother and I said to her, I said, I would rather you live with dignity and, and have some kind of semblance of who you are than to just watch that slip away more and more every day and and I think that that made something in her brain click right because since that conversation she's been different um, as far as um, and she, you know, she said something like, oh, you just want me to die. And, and it's, it's not, you know, so I had to say, no, ma, it's not that we want you to die. We just don't want you to suffer. Right. And, and my mom took care of my grandmother when my grandmother was dying. Um, so she knows the weight that I feel. Right. My grandmother didn't even have children. Right. Like, and, and I, it might. My siblings are still so very young and they're so very um, not equipped. Like I was a very different kid at their age. 
Um, I had lived on my own for three years. I was just very different. I wasn't as reliant on my mom as, as they are. Um, and she keeps asking me, you know, what are you going to do after I pass? Because I'm going to need you here to make sure, you know, with the kids. Um, my littlest sister, I think she gets it. Uh, I think that she doesn't want my mother to suffer and as hard as it is you know my little sister is more involved with the medical stuff than the other two are my, my brother just can't handle it and shuts it down my little my middle sister is just so emotional because she just lost her dad last October um so it's just a lot right so I just had to call her doctor because the hospital that she's in is completely and totally incapable um and and I said I don't know if I should move her because the imaging shows there was no change. The swelling didn't change. The steroids and the radiation didn't change anything. And she's this confused, more confused than she's ever been. So I'm waiting for a call for him to call me back to let me know if I should move her someplace more capable, which is about two hours away. So that will be fun. Uh, my little brother left to go on a road trip. Uh, so he should be back on Saturday. And it's just... You know, day to day shit. Party a fucking minute, you know? We'll see what tomorrow brings.